Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a test, a boil test on this stove configuration where I used one of my coddle stoves that has the exhaust lining on the inside held in place by a hardware cloth and then I put in this internal corrugated aluminum pot stand to make it a complete stove. As soon as I did it I knew I was doing wrong because I was comparing this to another stove, uh, my three ounce stove. I think it's so small I can't even find it. Anyway, a little stove that I made with a tea light cup and another piece of aluminum foil. I knew that by using one that has an exhaust wrap in it, it's not exactly the same thing. So RJ Bird left me a comment and a couple of other people sent me emails asking if I do the same test with just an empty bottom and the corrugated pot stand just like that so that's what I'm going to do today this with the pot stand and the, cor the coddle bottom weighs 15.7 grams or 0.55 ounces I have one fluid ounce of methanol here put that in the burner part and I could put a little more in there there's still a little space but then the corrugated pot stand goes in now this pot stand has been used five times now and it's still okay put my water on top I'm using the Boy Scout pot just like that that's two cups of water setting at 60 degrees all I do is reach under, light this. Now this is a little harder to light. I don't know if that took, nope. This is a little harder to light because it doesn't have the wicking. So I'll just load it from the top like that. Okay, can you see the flames burning there? In this case, I'm going to have to let it heat up just a little bit so I can get some vapor. A little harder to light. Okay, now I've got flames coming in the side. Let me put the two cups of water. Setting it 60 degrees in there. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 437. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil of 212 degrees in 4 minutes and 37 seconds. On the other test where it had the wick in it, it took 4 minutes and 48 seconds. So it's pretty close. Okay, let's let this go and see how long it takes to run out. Okay, and there goes the flame. And it's out, let's say, at 658. Okay. Now when you take it off, there is just a little bit of fumes inside, so that's just burning off but I'll still hold with the uh, run out time. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a full boil in four minutes and 37 seconds and then ran out in six minutes and 58 so that would have given you the time to make yourself biologically safe water no, not the toxins but the little bugs and whatnot in there. On the previous test with this <clears throat> the boil time was 4 minutes and 48 excuse me <coughs> that's just uh, a couple of about 10 seconds more on this one and the run out time was 736 which is about a half a minute or so shorter or longer rather now using a wick in something like this 
does make it much easier. The uh, alcohol soaks up into the wick and then you can just easily light that. Whereas on this one, it had the stove had to heat up some so that it would give vapors off here that I could light. One idea that I might try is instead of putting that relief hole so far up, maybe put it down here closer to the where the uh, flames would be coming out. That way if I light it in here, then when I go to put the pot down on it, the flames will come out and light the, the ring that's formed by the corrugation. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of a ring all the way around that's formed by the corrugation bumps. So not bad. This was the original stove. Couldn't find it because I put it in a, a pill bottle. This is the same as that, except this has been scaled up some. Uh, I don't think this would make two cups of water warm, but I, it would. I'm willing to bet it wouldn't make it get it to boiling. But it would be warm enough to make maybe hot chocolate or something, a cup at a time. So I thank our Jay Berg and the others that sent me the emails. I thank you for watching my video. I look forward to your input, your questions, your remarks on this, and helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.